What is Gucci, everybody? It's AJ here, and welcome to another tutorial in the iOS realm. This, this tutorial will be in Swift and not Objective-C. I hope to make some other tutorials covering Objective-C. I'm still trying to learn it myself, though. Post me a link to where I can learn some more Objective-C in below, and I'll try to have some links of more Swift links. Maybe I'll make, that'll be my video tomorrow of where to make, how to, where are more better Swift resources. But in this video, I want to make a project about what the difference between a frame of a view is and a bounds of a view. And this is very important in constructing the UI of your app. And while it's very easy to construct a basic UI of an iPhone application for any of the applications you've used, like the Facebook application or Snapchat, as you notice, probably have a very complicated UI and you probably couldn't make it on your own. Or if you've, see, you've seen all these U, UIs, but they're not the simple drag and drop parts that maybe you're accustomed to if you're a beginner in iOS. So I'm going to make a new project. I'm going to call it bounds and frame. And it's going to be in Swift. Don't use core data. Save it anywhere you want. And we're going to get the project started. I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to go straight to the view controller and boom. Okay. I don't know why I say boom, but we're going to simply make a square. We're going to make, what we're going to do in this video, we're going to make a square. We're going to make it an orange color, and then we're going to put a square inside that square, and we're going to make that blue, and I'm going to illustrate the field and bounds principle. So we're going to make a variable. We're going to call it square one. This is going to be square one, and this is going to be a UI view, and it's going to take a frame. It's going to take a parameter called frame. And what that is, it's a CG rectangle. And so what that's, the CG stands for core graphics and rectangle stands for rectangle. So what it is, is every UI view is a rectangle. You can make it a circle by curving it or give it rounded edges, but essentially it's still gonna be represented internally as a rectangle. It's just what you use to display to the user. And the way to give the, make a rectangle is to use the CG rect make method. Now, what are four parameters you need in a rectangle? Well, you need the starting point, zero and the X and Y coordinate, the starting point, which in this case, I'm going to call 50 and yeah, and I'll make this 100 and then we'll make the width and height a square. So we'll make it 100 by 100. So in this case, the X and Y coordinate will be the top left corner of your, rec your, your rectangle or square in our case. And that is very important that most coordinate systems in computers, most graphic systems start from the top left corner. Now I will show more of what I mean in a second when I run the app. And so also what we're gonna do is we're gonna quickly make the background color orange. And we can do that by calling UI color and using the class function orange color to return an orange color to the background color. And then within our automatically made view controller, we're going to call the view, the view of the whole screen. And we're going to add that. We're going to add our square one. And now we're going to run the app. So now I can describe frame. Okay. So now, hopefully, if we get to run the app, everything's starting up. Bounds and frame. Maybe I should have capital. Maybe I should have capitalized the B, but otherwise, it looks good. Okay. Now, you see our orange rectangle. Pretty simple. But now we're going to talk about frame. So when I set this UI view, I gave it a frame or a rectangle, rectangle parameters, AKA a frame of 50, 100, 100, and 100. So the first thing I did was I said the X was 50. And so this X is starting from the top left corner on the simulator or on even your physical iPhone, if you have one. So it's, that's 50, not pixels, but it defined, it's defined as 50 units from the corner. And then 100, again, is 100Y is going down. So if you're used to kind of a mathematical graph where you have, you know, the quadrants 1, 2, 3, and 4, this would be the fourth quadrant in a way, except 
y going y is going down and this is known as the positive direction so i wrote 100 and just for more illustration i'm going to change my y coordinate to 300 and you're actually going to see it's going to go down because all the coordinates are relative to the top left corner and it went down and then so my width and height are 100 making it a perfect square that's all i wanted to, so that's what i want to illustrate so our frame the frame because we're going to get to bounds later is relative to the super view so this square is in the super view and the super view is the entire screen so what view did i add square one two i added it to the view controllers view which is the super view the view that's encased in everything which in this case is just the white screen okay so that is that's pretty cool so now we're going to make another square it's not too cool but I'm just saying things to keep you guys entertained. So now we're going to make another UI view. And this UI view is again, mm, let's make it, let's make it pretty crazy. Let's make it 50, 50, 10, and 10. So let's make it a small rectangle. Actually, let's make it 30 and 30, just so to make sure you guys can see it. And so we're gonna make that square two. And if we don't give it a background color, we won't be able to see it. So let's do that. Let's give it a green. It's not gonna be that good looking. And we're going to add it to the sub view. Can you guess what's gonna happen here? Oops. Start up the app, hopefully everything works okay. And so we add it to the sub view and the green square is there. We did not add the green square within the orange square like we wanted to. That is because the square two is operating on its own accord. It is simply, it, it, it is simply doing, it is simply doing what it wants to do without caring about the other sub view because we haven't added it to its own sub view. And what I mean by that is that every view is kind of recursive, meaning I can add a view within a view within a view. So you can subclass sub view. So my square one, which is a view, I can now add my square two. And let me see if this works. Now I've added the green square within the orange square. And so now th those frames, those coordinates, that 50, 50, 30, 30, are now relative to the top left corner of the orange square, the orange, the square one view. So now that I've done that, all that, all that matters to the green UI view, the green square, are the, are the super views and the super view is just the orange square. So it's using its coordinates of the super view to place itself within the orange square. And it did a beautiful job. So that's the frame. And in the next episode, we're gonna co cover the view.